Good evening, everyone. It is a great honor and privilege to stand here and welcome you all to PASS 2019. My name is Tom Joseph, Arts Coordinator for Polary Victoria. As you all know, Polary is always about community. We bring communities together and support community in time of need. PASS 2019 is one of the biggest community events in Melbourne. My responsibility today is to welcome our chief guests, special invitees, and you all to pass 2019. Today we have some great community leaders to hear, to bless and support pass 2019. I would like to start with the honorable member of Australian Parliament, Anthony Byrne. He is a very familiar face to all of us, a great leader and supporter of communities. Welcome, Mr. Anthony Byrne, to pass 2019. Next, we have our Mayor for City of Greater Dandong, Councillor Mrs. Rose Blades. She is a leader of great vision and passion for her city and community. Welcome, Councillor Rose Blades, to pass 2019. <clears throat> the next person I would like to welcome is Dr. Mrs. Tara Rajkumar OAM. She is a big supporter of Polari and the Indian community. Welcome, Dr. Tara Rajkumar. I would also like to welcome Ms. Sagas Sarifuddin, who is uh, representing our in event sponsor, RGS. Welcome to PASS 2019. <clears throat> we have some special invitees today. Mr. Marcus Pindler, General Manager, Nissan Casting Plant, and Mr. Akshay Jaws, representing RCU, RMIT University Students Union, and Mrs. Janini from Dance School of Music. Nissan Casting Plan, Rosso, and Dance School of Music extended their amazing support to Polaris Kerala Flood Relief Fundraising. We are so happy to have Mr. Marcus, Mr. Akshay, and Mrs. Janini with us today. Welcome to PASS 2019. We also have Dr. Peter Down, Director of Monash Children's Hospital, he expressed that he will be coming, joining us at 6.30 p.m. Police supporting Monash Children's Hospital for a few years now. We are so grateful for Dr. Downey's presence today. Welcome to PASS 2019. I welcome our sponsors and performers for PASS 2019. And finally, the most distinguished guest of the day, you all, our supporters and audience. Welcome to PASS 2019. Now, I am handing over, to, handing over the mic to today's master of the ceremony, Mrs. Tejas Sibi and Ms. Irene Martin. Let us welcome on the stage. Have, have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tejo Matthew. And I'm and I'm Irene Martin. And we'll be your MCs for this evening. A very welcome to Pulri's annual stage show 2019. We'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we meet today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and pay our respects to elders past, present, and future. Just some housekeeping rules before we begin. Emergency exits are located uh, in the front left, left and right, and also in the back side of the stage. Toilets are located outside in the foyer, and in case of any assistance, just look for the volunteers wearing a lanyard like this. Thousands of lamp can be lighted from a single lamp, and the life of the lamp will not be shortened. Similarly, Happiness is never decreased by being shared. On this note, let me welcome everyone to, this, to the show and also to the official lamp lighting ceremony. We'd like to invite our honorable chief guests onto the stage. Mr. Santosh Kumar, convener of Bulidi. Mr. Anthony Byrne, member of parliament. 
Councillor Ros Bleeds, the Mayor of City of Greater Dandenong. Dr. Thada Rajkumar, OAM. And Mr. Sahar Sarufuddin, Reddy's General Service Representative. I request all our chief guests to take part in the lighting of the lamp ceremony and also please light up our lamp. I kindly invite Aditya Pradeep on the stage for the prayer song. To be respectful, I humbly request everyone to please rise up. Uh. Thank you, Aditya, for the beautiful prayer. Everyone can now return to their seats. Before we begin the programs for the evening, I'd like to invite the chief guests to say a few words. I'd like to first welcome Mr. Santosh Kumar, convener of Puri 2019, for his convener's address. Please give him a big hand. Thank you. 
Good evening, everyone, on this auspicious and ever so delightful evening of past 2019. I, Sandosh Kumar, convener of Pulleri Victoria, on behalf of Team Pulleri, would like to show my respect and acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, of elders, past and present, on which this event is taking place. I would like to take the permission to conduct this event in this land. I request you all to bestow upon me with all the dedicated prayers to all the guests on dais who kindly accepted our request and agreed to spend time in their busy schedule. The sponsors, community leaders, media partners, other distinguished guests, and my dear friends. On behalf of Pulleri Victoria, I welcome you all to past 2019, that is Pulleri Annual Stage Show 2019, a beautiful evening of music, dance, colors of culture and laughter. But before we begin, I would like to remember one of our founder member. Last year, Pulleri family was grieved to witness the untimely demise of one of our founder member, Anish CP. We miss you, CP and you will never be forgotten and be in our hearts forever. Pulleri's growth has been consistent with our dreams and motto since 2005. The constant support from the Malayali community and the broader society is an evidence of the reach of our goodwill and message of friendship. It is with great pride and joy that I announce that Pulleri Victoria has donated more than 73,000 Australian dollars to charity since its inception of charitable activities. This was possible only because of the wholehearted support from people like you. Thank you for that. As all of you know, during 2018, severe flood ravaged through the South Indian state of Kerala in India. Close to 500 people lost their lives and thousands of people lost their houses and belongings. Unprecedented level of economic support poured in form around the world to rebuild the state. Pulleri also took initiative through Facebook campaigning to raise fund for flood relief, joining hands with organizations like RMIT students, NCAP, Nizan, Dan Music School, and many more. Thanks to each and everyone who wholeheartedly supported Pulleri to raise $22,909. We have been working with a Sydney-based organization called Sneha Griham to rehabilitate flood victims in Vaina district in Kerala. And also we are about to shortlist two families to whom we build their houses from scratch. At the moment, formalities are finalized and are in discussion with the builders regarding the estimate and other side works. Also this year, Pulleri decided to assist in 100 dialysis per year to the people suffering from kidney diseases back in Kerala. This has been initiated by joining hands with a well-known charity organization called Jeevadhara, headed by Mr. Saju Menacheri back in Angamali province in Kerala. We are happy to raise the number every year going forward, and if any of you want to support us, you can contact the front desk for more details. 14 years is a long duration for changes of any kind, but those who looked after Pulleri as an organization every year certainly deserve the credit of taking excellent care of this organization to what we are now. I acknowledge the great effort of all those committee members and volunteers who wholeheartedly allowed their personal time, effort, and intention towards Pulleri's goodwill and activities on a regular basis. Once again, I welcome all of you to this wonderful night and thank you all for your presence, cheers, participation, and cooperation tonight. I know most of you might have performed on stage and know how much effort you have to put in to make it presentable before the audience. Please keep this in mind while you cheer each and every one of the performance. This is your stage show and I hope all you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Kumar. Our second chief guest is Mr. Anthony Byrne, who I'm sure you're all familiar of. He is an avid supporter of our programs and has always encouraged the multiculturalism within Melbourne. He is an Australian Labor Party member of the House of Representatives 
since November 1999. He represents the division of Holt, Victoria. Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. And to our compares, I'm just going to get the microphone up a little bit. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd obviously like to start by acknowledging some very important people. Um, one in particular, my friend and colleague, co colleague Councillor Ros Blades, the Mayor of the City of Greater Dandenong. And I was saying to, as I was saying to Ros, this place, Springvale Town Hall, when it used to be close to being part of my electorate, was um, a place of many happy memories. It was a uh, a place where many people from different parts of the world join the Australian family and Australian citizenship. So it's so apt that, uh, that we're here tonight. Um, to Dr. Tara Rajakuma OAM, welcome to you. Uh, to Zahar um, our, um, from RGS, our event sponsor. And to Santosh Kumar, convener of Polari, Victoria and other community leaders. I hope I haven't missed anyone out, but it's a great honour, as I've said, for, to be here tonight with our community leaders and to be with you. <clears throat> I'd like to say something about the people at Kerala and why, one of the reasons why I'm here. Chirandram, and I checked this before I got here, is 8,710 kilometres away from Melbourne. So it's a fairly long plane ride, I think, or a series of plane rides, depending on where you go, which airline you go with. But that trip, that journey, is not just a distance in kilometres. It's a distance in thousands of years of culture and history. 3,000 years ago, the people of Kerala were trading spices throughout the sort of what we know as the Asian region. Kerala is known as God's own country. And there's a good reason for that, besides its abundant natural beauty. But Lord Parara Sarana threw an axe and created, uh, as representing Lord Vishnu, by throwing his axe, created a land for his devotees to live peacefully. And that's one of the reasons, obviously, as our guests would know and you would know, they called it God's own country, but peacefully being the operative word, particularly in light of what's happened with recent events that you've seen on your television, where we see people that don't support a harmonious community, that don't support multiculturalism, that don't support a unified country committing acts of terror to ensure that our community divides itself. And one of the things I must say is that I'll do everything in my power as a member of federal parliament to ensure that that never happens in this country. Thank you. There's no place for hate in this country. And the reason why I'm so enthusiastic to be here is, I'll say it very plainly, Australia was a nation. It was, we, we were here, we, we came and we joined our first inhabitants, our indigenous peoples. And we grew our country, but we grew by people coming by boat, boat and now by plane. And without immigration, our country would not be the great country it is today. So I'm here to thank you for coming to our country from Kerala. You have made our, through that 8,700, although it depends on which part of Kerala you came from, the, uh, you have made our country a stronger, richer, better country. And we're gonna see that tonight. One of the great disappointments of me having to travel around as a member of parliament is that I don't get a chance to bathe in the richness and the depth and the history and see the vivacity and the color of your culture as you will see later on tonight with the dancers. I watched Malayalam TV last week and was looking, I think it was the India's Got Talent, or Australian India's Got Talent, and there were some great acts there. But I had to resort to watching that on Facebook. I couldn't be there to watch it. But it showed a small taste of what you're gonna see here tonight. And we have to celebrate your culture. You bring so much richness and history to us. So what I, as I said, particularly tonight, your story, your richness, your history, the Australian story, you become part of the story. When I was saying to Roz, when I used to see so many people becoming Australian citizens, people from Kerala, people from different parts of the world, and they joined our family. So your story, with all of its richness and history, now becomes part of our story. And so not only are we celebrating your history and culture here tonight with our young, 
And that's vitally important that you continue to transmit the richness of your culture to your young people. We'll be seeing that tonight. But to acknowledge that this is part of the rich fabric of what makes Australia. The hate mongers, the people that talk about the white picket fence, and I lived in that era, the white picket fence, I might add, that never existed in this country. They want to take our country back to a country it never was, rather than acknowledging the country that is, the great country that is Australia, and because of people like you coming, the great country it will be. You have an essential part in creating our nation's future. And please don't let anyone, whatever you see in the media or hate monger ever, ever, remove that belief that you are part of us because you joined our family and you are going to make our country the great country it become. And again, thank you for doing what you're doing. I want to finish by this saying, because I know there are other speakers. Kerala has 44 rivers. I think 41 rivers flow west, three flow east. And when I look at the map of Kerala, the country, to me, the rivers are like arteries. They carry life into Kerala. But in August last year, they didn't carry life, they carried death. Those rivers swelled, swelled up, they killed, they displaced over a million people, they killed over 483 people. Those life-giving rivers became rivers of death. But the community of Kerala, the way the community in Kerala here through Polari and other organisations, the Malayalis of Melbourne, came together to raise monies to help their fairly fellow Malayalis who were in distress, says so much about your community, the passion and the commitment, the fact that you saw people from home, and I saw some of the videos and they were heartbreaking, but I heard stories of the Kerala fishermen who even though they were wrecking their boats, rescued, I think it was something close to 65,000 people. Imagine that story. That story needs to get out in the world that over a million people being displaced, that we had so much heartache, and yet you, the people of Kerala, the people here, the Polari community came together and through the money that's been, I think, raised $22,900 for two homes, you're trying to do something concrete to make the lives of the people that, the people that you know, family, relatives and friends, better in Kerala. And that says a lot about you. So thank you again for the great privilege of being here tonight and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your words of inspiration. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. We have someone in our midst who really lives up to this, a true leader. Next, we have Councillor Rose Blades AM, Mayor, City of Greater Dandenong. With over 25 years of serving the community, she has themed the mayoral year, working together, and is continually working to improve the community. I humbly request you, ma'am, to speak a few words. Well, thank you for that very kind welcome. So firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land and pay our respects to their elders, both past and present. And I'd like to acknowledge Anthony. It's nice to catch up with you. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Farah, Zaha and uh, Santosh. And I'd like to thank the community for putting on all of the work to make today possible. I'm guessing that people were here quite early, putting out chairs, organising tables, uh, and I'd like to acknowledge that, if we could, please. So I'm standing here at Springvale Town Hall. This is an iconic hall in the city of Greater Dandenong and has hosted many great functions. One such is this evening. Once a month in this hall, we naturalise over 300 people. Those 300 people come from all parts of the world. And you have come from a land far away. Those of you that are here this evening, you've come from a place very different. And you've come to Australia and you've brought with you all of the grace and all of the education and all of the culture that makes the city of Greater Dandenong great, and it will make Australia great. 
because when I look out today at all of you, I see the Australia of the future. I see a multicultural Australia where there is tolerance and harmony, where people unite in solidarity and tolerance and have respect for each other's faiths and religion. Because this is the most multicultural city in Australia with 157 different nationalities, over uh, 200 languages and 60 faiths and has the world's first interfaith network, which is the rock on which we stand and on which we have a basis of harmony and peace. And I've been privileged to be a faith leader with the interfaith network of Greater Dandenong since 1987, which is actually when I was elected. I hadn't realised I was actually elected that long until Anthony just mentioned it. Um, so I'd like to welcome you all here this evening to, to this place where you're going to uh, show, showcase some of the talent and grace and hard work that you've all put in. I'm sure that we're all going to have a lovely evening. On behalf of the City of Greater Dandenong, I'd like to make you most welcome and hope you have an enjoyable evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor, for those inspiring words. Our next chief guest is Dr. Tara Rajkumar, who has an international reputation as a brilliant performer, choreographer, and teacher of Indian classical dance form. In 2009, she was awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia for her contributions. Please warmly welcome Dr. Tara Rajkumar. Adhyamai, Ivade Vanetia Ninga Lavarkum, Puleriuda Barava Higalkum, Ende Hrudeam Naranya Asham Sagar Namaskara. Um, I will now speak in English, especially considering the chief guests that we have who have spoken so beautifully, making you proud to be a part of this multicultural society. Thank you, thank you. Um, more than 10 years ago, more than a decade back, Sri Radha Krishnan came and spoke to me about his idea of creating a platform for providing an opportunity to the young second generation of Kerala kids to give them a, an opportunity to flower, blossom, and um, communicate through their culture as well as uh, reach out to the mainstream through the arts. I thought it was a wonderful idea, and I have had the honor to come here uh, for the inauguration of Pulleri and have been here for most of the years since then. And it's been a great pleasure to see Pulari grow so beautifully. And it is an, uh, an amazing feat that the organizers, the committee members, have kept developing this process of providing a platform, and then onto that, giving the children the cultural understanding, as well as the community, the idea of giving of giving through the arts, giving through your life. And it's been a wonderful journey. I sincerely hope you keep going, getting stronger and stronger. Hearty congratulations. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to this evening's performance, but I have to touch on Sri Anthony's speech where he spoke of Parashurama and his acts. Many years ago, the Commonwealth Games was held here, and I was invited to create a myth between Australia and India. And I performed along with a big group in the Crown for the Premier's dinner. 
and the topic was the Gondwana land. And the myth created was it was Lord Shiva who broke us apart with the Naks. So it was not just Kerala. We are the same world. It's the world fabric that we are contributing to. Probably we came from the same piece of earth, which was then divided, and we have come in different colors, different forms, different sizes. But our hearts, if they're in the right place, it's the most joyous place to be in Melbourne. And that's what we are doing tonight. So hearty congratulations to all of you so, to making it such a wonderful place and to make it possible for our community to give to the larger community and make it a, a, a joyous process for the young ones and to feel proud of who we are and to grow and go to the next stage within the Australian community, feel Australian, but still feel proud of our Indian heritage and see Australia flourish and make our own small contributions in whatever way possible. So I thank all of you for inviting me here tonight and I sincerely wish Puleri at least another decade of growth and prosperity. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. This event past 2019 would not have been possible without the generous support and um, uh, support given by our main sponsor, Reddy's General Service. I would like to acknowledge them and also give them a big round of applause for that. What happened in Kerala last year was the biggest flood disaster to hit our hometown in over 100 years. I'm sure this event had an impact on all of us who are sitting here. As you all are aware, there has been many fundraisers supporting our family and friends back home, and Puleri also did the same. We raised around $22,000 for the same cause. Bulleti would like to give a special mention of thanks for Nissan Casting Australia for their generosity and support for the cause. We kindly invite Marcus Spindler, the General Manager of Nissan Casting Plant, to receive a Certificate of Appreciation. May I request our Chief Guest, Mr Anthony Byrne, to present the Certificate. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, Polaris Foundation and leaders. Uh, I'm very honored to be here today and represent the team members and the workers from the Nissan Casting Plant in Australia. Nissan Casting has a long history of actually donating and being open to help others in needs. And we have donations to the Red Cross, the Royal Children's Hospital, in 2016, we donated for the Bumai Chennai flood, and in 2018, on very short notice, on the 8th of August, as you know, we started to donate for the Kerala Flood Foundation, and uh, quickly went out and started to collect some money and then donated. Uh, as you all know from the media, it was one-sixth of the population was directly affected by the flood. Uh, it claimed nearly 500 lives. Kerala is a state in South India, roughly 35 point million people. And if you look at this, the people affected is roughly the size of Victoria, with uh, over 6 million people. So I think today, as I understand, it is safe to travel, and the people just got back on track and got their life back together again. Uh, 
I think if we live in Australia or in Germany, what is my home country, we, we don't know the challenges these people had to take through. And in the med media, you can see what it was at the time. But uh, I'm, I'm really pleased to see, and I'm, I'm very happy to be here today. I'm very honored to be here today. And thank you very much. And I look forward for a nice evening of culture and entertainment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marcus, for that lovely words and also your words of support and encouragement. Pule would also like to appreciate the students of RMIT for the hard work they put into raising money in support for the same cause. Once again, we want to say a massive thank you for setting, us, setting an example for today's youth in being involved in such a noble cause. We'd like to invite Akshay Jos, who is a representative of the RMIT University Student Union, to receive a certificate of appreciation. May I request our chief guest, Councillor Ros Blades Am, to present the certificate. Good evening, everyone. Um, so I would just like to say that um, I'm a Malayali myself. And um, when I was a part of the student union when the floods happened in Kerala, the RMIT student union, and then I was wondering myself, like, what can we do um, in order to, like, you know, do something for the family affected back in Kerala? And all my mates were, like, um, sort of feeling bad about this whole issue. And then RMIT officially acknowledged um, this as a disaster that hit students who are from that background. And then um, a few of, uh, few of like, enthusiastic um, mates approached me and then asked me what can we do about this. And that sort of um, got us going from there um, to tie up um, with the union. And we, we were successfully able to do like a whole week of fundraising in our city campus and in our different campuses in uni. And I'm really thankful to Pulleri for being so supportive with this um, initiative. When I pitched the first time that we wanted to do something uh, with Mr. Santos, he was really supportive and supported us through like that whole week of events. And um, I even had uh, representatives of Pulleri coming up to like our union staffs and you know helping us out with it, which was really positive side from Pulleri. And I would like to really thank this whole family that we have here for making this happen. And I'm really grateful that I'm a part of this and for the union to help us with this whole fundraising. And the RMIT family is really grateful to lend a hand out to this, you know, cause. And thank you, everyone. Thank you, Akshay. We would like to convey our thanks to Dan Music, who has supported Fullery for raising funds for Kerala flood relief. I would like to welcome Srimadhi Janani Abarnasudin to receive our Certificate of Appreciation. And also I would like to invite Dr. Tara Rajkumar to present the Certificate of Appreciation. Thank you, Srimadhi Janani Abhanasudan. For the last seven years, Pulari has been supporting Monash Children's Cancer Center. This year also, we would like to do the same. I would like to invite Dr. Peter Downey, Director of Monash Children's Cancer Center, to receive Pulari's contribution of $3,000. And I'd like to call upon Mr. Santosh Kumar, convener Pulari 2019, to give away the cash check.
really like to speak a few words for oh, us? I'll say a few words. Oh, right. thank you very much. That could be the <laughs> Oh, that's the real one. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a great honour and a privilege to be here to uh, receive this money. I can't get over it. In fact, um, uh, childhood cancer affects every culture, every community, every place in the world. And this is our community and our local area is where I work at Monash. I'm sure that there are people in this room who've had relatives or know of people that have had children with cancer and we've probably looked after them. Every cent goes towards the research that we need to be able to do to cure children with cancer and I thank Polari very much for their generous donation to our cause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Downey. We also request Mr. Zahar Sarufuddin, representative of tonight's main sponsors, Ready's General Service, to receive a token of our appreciation. And I kindly request the convener of Polity to present this certificate. I humbly request all of our chief guests to please take your seat down and enjoy your, the rest of the show. And we promise we have a lot to offer you. Sit back and have fun. <laughs> 